really hope that you enjoyed that sequence and that it turned out exactly as good as I'm thinking that it's gonna be. I don't know, because I haven't shot anything yet, we haven't shot anything yet, and we're standing here just getting ready. But in this video, I will take you through the entire process, my thought process, the rigging, the settings, the shots, and show you how it's, how it's done. <laughs> For the majority of this shoot, we are probably gonna use either the 24 millimeter or the 40 millimeter. I'm not entirely sure of which lens that is gonna be the go-to, but I'm guessing the 24 millimeter 1.4 because it produces the best look. But we're also gonna use the 85 millimeter baddest to do the establishing shot. But the reason that I have the 40 millimeter today is because this is a macro kind of lens, so we can get really, really close to the subject that we're shooting and I think it's gonna come really in handy for a lot of the shots that we're gonna take. Time for a little coffee before we start. A little coffee. Coffee. <laughs> David is going to be the bartender of today, and uh, you've been uh, you've been enjoying the craft of creating drinks for a while, right? That's true. All right. Ten years. So hopefully we're gonna land this today. <laughs> I think you will. We're gonna see some cool tricks at least, right? That I promise you. Awesome. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Time to go. Let's go. The main light that we're gonna use for this entire shoot is gonna be the Nanlite Forza 300 watt together with a 120 centimeter softbox with a grid attached to it so we can direct the light even more. And as for the fill light, we're gonna use an Aperture 120D with a 60 centimeter softbox. It's probably not gonna be used for the entire video, but we're gonna use it for some of the shots. And in the back, we're gonna use the Nanlite Pavatubes 30C to give it that like pop and make it look a little bit more neon-ish than it otherwise wouldn't. So this is definitely gonna help us set the mood for the entire scene and make it look way cooler than a regular bar. We're gonna get a shot of the ice that is like in the uh, sink that is gonna like crack, it's gonna melt, and we're gonna have some nice sound effects going on. So I'm trying to rig up the lighting with the Nanolite Pava tubes and making it feel like it's there, it's having this nice icy backlight, and uh, hopefully it's gonna work very good. Mm-hmm. Like all the shots, I always revert back to the 24mm because it looks <laughs> so different from all the other lenses. Like being able to go down to 1.4 mm, for these these kind of videos, it's perfect. Stor här. Ja. Men det fram. Ja. Så. Ja. Den linen. Alltså ja. så att den ändå kommer bort. It's a lot to direct when you're shooting stuff like this. But it's good. We have a good model. He's doing really well. And we're gonna nail the shots. And perseverance is key. <laughs> Word. Your body. Pang. Ah, you see the sweat? Many tries. Is it very nice? <laughs> Always work the extra mile. That should be your word on your cap. Whenever you do any kind of like cinematic sequence, B-roll, uh, commercial, whatever you want to call it, always try to get the perfect shot and do as many tries as it takes because you're gonna be so satisfied at the end. I think we spent uh, almost half an hour getting this shot. It's gonna be like one second <laughs> in the video, <laughs> but it's fun. But a damn good second. At oh least. yeah, it's gonna be really good, definitely. And 4K 120 looks Mwah! All right, so now it comes down to the details. So we're gonna use uh, an ice block, which is uh, completely uh, air-free, so to speak. So there is no bubbles inside, so it's, uh, it's very clear ice. So we're gonna cut out a chunk, which is gonna be used in the cocktail later on. But you know, it's a little bit of work behind and it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna look damn good at least. Best part about the whole thing is that David has brought 
a lot of things of everything that we might need. So like, this is 30 kilos of ice, and he also has with the limes. With the limes. Check yeah. this out. <laughs> That's like a whole bag of limes. We are ready for some retakes. <laughs> So since we're having like the ice that is gonna drop into the glass, I'm thinking that we're gonna use one of the Pava tubes. And as you can see, this reflection, if we have it centered, it's gonna be a really, really good icy reflection in the glass. That's gonna be super nice to have, I think. We're gonna do this shot with 24 millimeter. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's probably gonna be the main one that we use. The good old 24 never disappoints. We got the shot, it looks really good. Perfecto, eh? To anyone that wants to have a really, really good RGB light, I am still super satisfied with my Peva tubes because I'm using them all the time in my studio. But for example, when you go to a location like this and you wanna have some like moody lighting and help you set the entire scene, then having these are really good because not only are they RGB, they also have built-in CCT so you can set the color temperature that you want to have so you can get really video light and it's actually a pretty soft light and not super harsh and I also want to say a huge huge thank you to Focus Nordic for sending this over to me so that I can use it in my videos and in my shots you guys rock so now we're gonna get a shot of David opening the Campari bottle and we're gonna to try to make uh, kind of a follow follow shot where we're gonna track his movement as he opens the bottle. So this is gonna be really, really important that we time each other and that the distance that I have my focus set on is gonna be the Campari logo at the end movement that David does where it has like this and opens the bottle. I get a good feeling, felt good, did a couple of tries. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be nice. And then we're gonna do a whip pan out at the end. So we're gonna move here, back, whip pan, and then come in from the other side. <laughs> Oj, 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 That was a really good take. We nailed it on the first one. It looks insanely good. I was shooting at 240 FPS, 10 bits, but we're gonna do like one or two extra shots just to get it right. So I've been shooting with the A7S III now for almost two and a half hours and I've experienced absolutely zero overheating warnings and uh, it still chugs on even though we're shooting in 4K 120 for the majority of the shots. But uh, yeah, I gotta say the A7S III is a performer. Coffee time? Coffee time. So we're gonna take a 10 minute coffee break. Everyone needs a coffee break every now and then, especially today. How do you feel, David? I'm very good, yes. <laughs> I mean, the shot speaks for itself, doesn't it? Oh yeah. We have good coffee. We have uh, not a lot of time, but we not have a lot of time. Fun, so yeah. compensate it. One hour to go. What, what is it going to be the actual shooting time? Like three hours, three and a half hours? At least, yeah. So basically what I did before this shoot is that I wrote down a shot list with all the ideas that I got in my head, such as uh, bartender polishing, glass well, behind the bar <laughs> and then we have like shot of melting ice and all of that stuff with all the details such as sound effects transitions and everything that you can come up with because when you get on location such as right now 
Then we can just use this and shoot from the shot list, dun, 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 until we're done. And now we're gonna take the tonic and pour it into the glass. So I'm thinking we're gonna open the, open the cap and then squeeze the lime. We got that shot, now it's time for the lime. And I'm thinking the lime is gonna come in, maybe a little bit like POV on his arm. Yeah, I think so. so like, if you follow the arm, man. Yeah, so do you call my dad? Yeah. So. So. Yeah. Prepping for the final shot. I think that's gonna be good. We're a little bit over time, three minutes. This is gonna be the final shot. Hopefully it works. Ah, got a good feeling. Good faith, good faith. <laughs> it's all gonna come down to the edit. Like imagine it, all the shots are like really bad exposure. Oh shit. <laughs> that's gonna be the worst thing ever. Du börjar där borta. Så skjuter du fram den. Och så sen går du ur frame. Ja. Go. Get it? I think so. It feels good. Bam. Bam. So <laughs> done. Nice. Ah, feels good. I really hope that it turns out as good as I'm thinking that it's gonna be. But you guys have already seen it, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated as well. And here is the final result one more time. <laughs>